Okay, just uh, getting the uh, wash transferred. Okay, so I've got about 18 litres of wash there. Uh, I'm just going to throw in this jar, which has tails and some feet from the last run I did back around Christmas. And that's at 40%, so. Uh, I'll sit down in a sec, I'll have a look at the numbers, work out what's there and uh, see what we're looking at. In the meantime, going to get this coming up to a boil. Let's get the power on. Full boil on the controller at the moment. Run over is set to 106. Both elements are on, so... Moving. Just where it needs to be. Ah, that get me foot traps. Come on. I've got to put the hoses back on here. I'll do that shortly. Before we're up to a boil, before we need some cooling. All good. Good okay, so I've got the hoses off uh, the beer chiller. I really been meaning to get around there setting up a second set of hoses um, so I haven't got to do this every time I swap between the steel and doing a batch of beer but uh, it's pretty low on the list of priorities so it's not been done but this doesn't take long so uh, just worried me I'm going to bloody do some damage to the um, do the solder or something on the um, on the joins and crack something um, and create a permanent obstruction but uh, I'm going to try and do it as well, gently as I can That's just that's just bloody half inch silicon hose. Um with a, just a hose joiner, two clamps, a bit of garden hose attached to just the standard tap connector and just the hose connector as well. And I just run that straight into the garden hose. And the other one's exactly the same. And I've got a length of hose that just stays here in the brew cave, I just roll it out and that just goes down to the pool so I'll run from the tap through the cooler and straight, in, straight into the pool um, pops up the pool so none of the water goes to waste so we set up just have to wait for the temperature to come up now uh, with the hoses hooked up ready to go ok we're just coming up to temp Pick that up there. Yeah. It says we're on 94 degrees. Uh, my, the robot, my robot brew is starting to show a bit of temperature variance. 
this is hardly heating up so uh, it's probably close to about 90 if you can hear it's just about to boil now I've got the pot hooked up got the pot there collection jar is just starting you get some drips and you can smell it's quite uh, fuely and the temperature in the column has spiked from 50 degrees to 76 very very quickly so we've definitely hit a boil um, so right now I want to turn this voltage controller down a little bit um, by a little bit I mean quite a bit um, I'm going to go to about 55 percent um, some of these will show an actual voltage readout on there but this mine's bloody stopped a while ago so uh, and let's see there we get a really quick runoff and let's speak 85 80 sneaking 86 so that'll drop off a little bit um, ideally at the moment I want this running in the low 80s um, just make sure we drag off some methanol um, and then bring it up a little bit faster to um, finish that strip um, I've got a torn wash on um, which I'll be stripping um, now I've not looked at a closely at a strip run on the channel before so today I'm going to have a bit of a closer look at um, the equipment a little bit uh, not a huge amount but a little bit for anyone yeah, yeah that's not really sure what the bits and pieces are and what they're looking at um, and how we get through so um, yeah, it's still running there in the background at the moment I've just got it up and going uh, we're collecting four shots at the moment um, we'll have a bit of a look at that a closer look at that shortly but um, start off with what I've actually got in the still this morning um, got a, I said I've got a corn, corn mash um, I did start doing a video on this uh, I've done a, a video a little while back on doing a corn mash which was based on um, using crack corn uh, which is certainly uh, one way of doing your, your corn mash for a bourbon um, it, it's probably the most authentic way but there are other ways of doing it and this is one of those ways uh, I've used um, flake corn uh, which is pre gelatinized which means you can just run a normal mash as you would for um, normal brain um, so it's not as yeah not as much effort and input and stuff as there is with using the crack corn um, I did have some <laughs> drummers on the day um, and in the end I, I I think the main problem was I put too much volume into the robo brew when I was trying to do the mash so it was just a bit of a drama so I've just I scrapped that video, that video from that day um, so at the moment I'm running a, I'm running a corn mash which was 6 kilos of corn 1.1 kilo of marisota uh, yeah basically your barley and 900 grams of rye uh, I, I mashed that um, put that to the boil into the um, fermenter uh, there was 20 litres in the fermenter uh, I'd used a bit of um, bit of DAP um, and some dry enzyme along with some American whiskey yeast USW6 uh, about 30 grams into the fermenter uh, let it go the original gravity was 1082 uh, check the gravity last night was 0, 1008 um, which gave us a 74 point drop which puts us around about 9.8 9.9% in alcohol which I'm pretty happy with I've normally running about 8% uh, so I'm reasonably happy with that I did add um, one bag of raw sugar into this into this brew um, I said on the day it was a bit messy and I thought it was going to be lower on the gravity um, I put the 
the sugar in just to try and get up around that 8%. In the end, I would have had the 8% without it, so um, that's where we are. I've also added, so it's so actually 18 litres in the pot. Uh, to that, I've added a 2 litre jar of faints and tails from a previous batch, um, which is at 40%. So, rough calculations, I've got about 2.5 litres of actual pure alcohol in the still at the moment. Um, knowing my system, I would expect that I will get about 2.2 to 2.3 litres of that back out. Um, and this is something you, you, you'll, you'll learn and you pick up when you're using your, with your own gear in your own your own column and your setup, um, you'll start getting you'll get a feel for how much alcohol you're going to be able to extract out of your batch before it's you know pointless and you're just using too much time and energy to start getting it. So you get to a point where you're not getting enough out of out of it to worry. So um, two and a half liters, I expect that's going to come out somewhere at an average of yeah 55 to 60 percent so i'm hoping to pull i'm thinking I'm gonna, i should be able to pull somewhere between you know four to four and a half liters of um of spirit off today um of which i would expect to probably lose well not lose but have a liter of that being heads and tails so you know three to three and a half liters in the middle of usable usable stuff um Mind you, that being said, because it is a stripping run, everything that comes off today, other than the four, four shots, will be able to be reused. Um, so if I was doing, if, if, if I was doing the spirit run today, um, then that's probably looking at a leader either end. I wouldn't get in that three, three and a half in the middle. Um, but as I said, this is a stripping run. I'm just all I'm doing today is ripping as much alcohol out of this as quickly as I can um, and put it aside. Uh, and I'll add this to the last batch I've done. Um, and then the next batch I'll do, I'll combine those and I'll do a spirit run, um, which will give me enough to fill the one and a half barrels I've got, to fill a fresh five litre barrel and top up the um, other five litre barrel I've got, um, which will make me a happy little distiller. Um, so that's where we're at. So I'm going to go through, I said, just basically a quick look at each of, each of the steps and the, uh, and a, just, a, just a rough look at the setup. So um, at the moment, I've got uh, just over 300 mils of four shots. Um, I'm just going to let this go just a little further. Uh, the jar will hold about 370 mil. Um, it's like it's a 400 mil jar, but I'll, I'll take about 350 for side. Um, one reason being, um, given we've got the um, coronavirus runner at the moment, and me and the missus are stuck here at home on isolation. Um, today is actually day two of what's going to be a minimum seventy, minimum seventy-two day isolation. Um, this may come in very handy for um, cleaning and sanitising um, at some point. So. Just pulling off at the moment. Um, I'm going to grab another jar um, and swap onto that, and we'll have a look at that shortly. Okay, so I've got about uh, looks like it's probably about 370 odd uh, mil of what will be four shots. So I'll just transfer it onto another jar. Okay, that jar's good. Um, that's getting a reasonably steady flow. Now I'm just going to turn the temp con the voltage control up just a little bit, uh, bring it up around 62%. Uh, and see we go. Column temp at the moment is sitting around high high 87, low 88. Um, so I'm pretty happy to pull off there just at the moment.
Okay, so our first jar off, which is our four shots. Now, that's got a really potent solventy smell. That's you know not pleasant. Yeah, which is a good way of um, telling whether you've got stuff that you don't want. Um, you'll always get the first thing off your you know, off your off the still is methanol um, and high percentage methanol. Um, it's the first product that comes off during the boil of any alcohol, any spirit. Um, so you're always going to get some. And you'll find there's variations sort of on what people will tell you you should sort of take. Um, I, on a, on a 20 litre batch, I like to take, I generally just take one jar. Um, I said this is a level 400 ml jar, um, just to be safe. Um, for the amount of, some will say you only need 200 or 150 ml. Um, I think a lot of, lot of, lot of like, um, literature will tell you sort of 10 millimetres. 10, mil, 10 millilitres for every litre that you've got in the still. Um, so I've got 22 litres, or well, about 21 litres in there at the moment. So that says about 210, 220. Given that this stuff is poison and you don't want to, you don't want to be drinking it at all, I prefer to just make sure I'm not getting it. So I'll take pretty much that first jar um, and put that aside. Um, clearly mark it. Uh, so you know what it is. If you're not if you're not tossing it out straight away, mark your job, keeping it, mark it very clearly, because this stuff will kill people um, <laughs> very easily. So you don't want to, you can't muck around with it. Yeah, so like I said, be really, be be careful with it. It's good, yeah, but it does make good clean. It's good for good for cleaning windows. Um, and as I said, I was want to try and use a sanitizer. Um, so I just want to see what sort of alcohol I've got on this. Um, and this serves two purposes for me on the on um, when I'm doing a run. I keep track of everything. Some people just make them put their jars out and um, and label the jars. They can check them. I like to have a good idea of where I'm going. Um, it might be a bit angry, it might be a bit pedantic, but it's just what I do. Um, and I'll keep a track. So. Um, So I'm like, okay, so the fours, and I've got, well, probably, probably close to 400 mil. And I'll measure the alcohol. Yeah. And again, you're playing with this stuff, be aware, you get on your table, it will strip, it will strip crap off uh, and make a mess. So don't do this on surfaces you don't want damaged. Um, you can see the table, it's got a lot of stuff peeling off it because of it so um yeah but it's got me got me test tube uh, which is obviously glass now the final only plastic but it's got minimal contact and testing alcohol so if you, I mean, if you haven't got one of these sets get yourself one um alcometers um to measure what your alcohol concentration is um well, in reality, if you haven't got um, that, you're only sort of guessing. Okay, that's sitting at 70%. Um, so, that's all good. So, I, that means I can use this to make sanitizer. I can't use, I can't cut it that too much, but with a little bit of um, aloe vera, I can make a usable hand gel out of it. Or it will work as a nice, um, this is a general spray sanitizer as well um, ideally I probably would have liked it a little bit higher so I possibly could have taken probably should have taken the jar off at about 100 mil 150 mil and use and use that it may have been a bit higher but I do find that realistically on my set with this setup the Arco engine on the um, on the Robo brew that I do struggle to get any more than about 72 percent top end unless I've got um, a higher starting alcohol and even then it struggles to get much much more than that so methanol done let's get put that aside 
uh, as I said, I've not got. I've got another jar which I've got marked. So I will just get a sticky sticker to put on that for the moment. So we know what it is. Just to re re reiterate that label shit. Um, as I said, it is poison. Okay, so that's me messed up. Put that aside. So, I had 400 mil at 70%, so that's 200. So I've got 280 come off at the moment. So I said, so I'll, I'll do this. I'll keep a track of each jar, the alcohol coming off, and then I can work out. I get no idea where I am in the run, how much alcohol is left. Um, so, so there we go. So we're going to let it run. So I've, I've, I've got the um, first jar of what will be heads running here. Um, so I'll probably will expect to get a litre off total. So what I'm using here is these jars which are about 800, bit over 800 mil um, so I can take one and a bit of those um, and put that aside if, like I said, if, I was doing a, if I was doing a stripping run uh, a spirit run but because I'm not I'm going to take probably just take about half of that Um, which is about now. I might just grab that to show you what I mean. Okay. So that's just what I've taken off there. Now again, that's still got some of that solventy nose and feel, but it's, 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 it's way less, and obviously because it would have would have cut a bit as it went. Now, for, for the most part, I'm really not going to want this. Even going back in the strip, that's, yeah. Again, there's going to be an amount of methanol in that. Um, this is going to be a, a slightly lower alcohol. Um, so it's not really going to be worth using, say, in the sanitizer. Um, so I'm just going to toss this. I'm just going to throw that out. Um, but, again, just so I've got to know where my numbers are. We will take it just a quick measurement. These alcometers come in different ranges, so you'll cover right through from 0% up to 100% with, with the three that come in the, in the set. I mean, that's dropped down. Okay. That's sitting about about 66% so again there's probably about another 400 mil there uh, which is 240 it's 264 mils so that alcohol drop shows that we have you know we've pushed through the methanol and we're just starting to get into cleaner ethanol um, and alcohol we can actually consume. But again, safety sake, that's I'm gonna to toss that one. Um, so from now, I'm just collecting right through now till the very end, um, where it'll start getting daggy in the tails. So I'm just gonna check the, top, check the column temp. Which uh, that's sitting around 89 degrees, um, which would actually be a decent place to be um, running a spirit run. But we do want to strip this, so I'm going to turn the voltage controller up a little bit. So it's probably sitting somewhere around 67 percent, 68 percent, just a little bit more, and that'll bring up. So I do. I want to try and get this column to about 91, 91 degrees, um, and that'll strip off faster. So just let it go. Once I get that level up 
we'll have a look at um, how fast that's coming off. Okay. Uh, I've pushed the voltage controller up to 75%. Um, that is, that's with both um, elements running on the Robo Bruce, so that's 2400 watts. Um, no, I'm just going to pull off this jar's done. I'll slip a new jar in there. I want to take 100 mil off that and just time how long it takes just to get uh, Don't just give you an indication of how quickly that happens. Um, now, you could run this off faster than this. Um, that's just a steady, you know, it's a fairly steady pour. It's coming off pretty quick. Um, you could go harder if you wanted to. Um, I'm pretty. I'm, I'm happy with that. That's coming off reasonably quickly. Um, actually, it's very smooth, very clean. So, um, happy with that. So. And so we're coming up on the 100 mil there already. It's not far off. Um, not taking long at all. So, so at, like, you're somewhere around, somewhere around a minute and a half to pull 100 mil off. So we're going to get a leader in. Um, What, about 15 minutes. Uh, so at this rate, we keep this flow coming off. I should be, we should get most of this done um, in you know not long over an hour. So the stripping run happens fairly quickly. Um, this is the whole point of it. Um, this isn't about flavour or quality. This is about just getting the alcohol out of the wash um, so we can get on with. Yeah, and leave the slow stuff when we're doing the um, natural spirit run. So, uh, let that run. Yeah, so while that's going, yeah, so we had the uh, talking earlier about the hoses in and out for uh, keeping that column cool. Um, yeah, so we're running now. It's showing us at 97 degrees, um, which is probably again still a little bit off, and column sitting about 90.5, so I'm really happy with that. Um, like I said, this is the connection for the hoses. So, just a garden hose, I just sit in a pot just because there's quite often a little bit of leakage. You can see there's a little bit there. Um, and they just run from outside. One, one comes in from around the back of the house, and the other one. Runs off there and goes across the yard straight into the pool. So no water going, no water going to waste. Um, and on this hour run, I'm only using about a litre a minute. So I'm only going to use about, you know, maybe 80 to 100 litres of water. Um, and I said straight to the pool. It, it isn't going to waste at all. So that's ideally <laughs> what we want. Don't even waste some water. So. Let this run now, uh, pull a few more jars, and um, we'll come back later on when we're finished, or well, towards the end, and have a look what we finished up with. Okay, gone through and finished the run. Uh, a bit of lunch we're going, so I'm just uh, checking where each jar's finished up. Yeah. It dropped down a little bit. That's 38. Push it 
um, pretty much right through. Okay, so this is the second last jar. Get the pretty light. Good. We've dragged pretty much everything out of, out of this batch. Uh, Okay, so what I've got two two litre jars. And full. Uh, these will go into spirit run. Okay, so I've ended up with two two lid jars, which I'll now, oh, no good shot, right? I'll leave them here for overnight to air out. I think that's going to be a big concern at the moment, but still, why not? So, that's the last jar I took off. Got about a half a litre there. Uh, let's just see where it came off at. That's around 20%. So, it's probably still a little bit of alcohol left in the uh, in the in the kettle, but um, shut it down. Never worried about getting any taking any more from there. Uh, but that can all go back into the, into the um, spirit run so um, I'm pretty happy with that really uh, so I was expecting four and a half litres uh, I've got more but I did push the alcohol to the lower levels so but um, I've got two litres there at 59%, the other jar is going to be sitting around 38, uh, so combined it's going to be around 40%, um, which I'm yeah, more than happy with. Uh, so so that's, um, that's it, spirit run done, now I've got to do a quick clean up. Let these jars breathe for 24, 48 hours, seal them up, seal them aside till I'm ready to do the spirit run and add them to the rest of the stuff I've got there. So, that's it. Stripping runners. It's, 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 it's simple, straightforward, just run, run the still reasonably hard. Um, some say run it flat out, and you can run it flat out. Um, as I said, I had the controller at 75% for the bulk of that. Once I've got, once I've got through the, um, through the four shots, that first jar of heads, 75, I ran it through at 75%, took off fairly quickly. Um, and yeah, end of the day, two and a, two and a half hours start to finish, uh, and it's done. So it's fairly, it's, it's not a difficult, not a difficult day. It's easy to do. Um, it's not, not as involved as the spirit run and uh, smaller smaller cuts and all the rest of it. Um, I only take I only take the smaller jar simply because I can't fit a bigger jar underneath the um, underneath the outlet if I could. Yeah, I'd, I'd just, I'd just simply stick it in the 
yeah, five litre damage right under it and catch it, just do the whole lot into there. But so if you can do that, that's a bloody that's a good option. Makes it easier. But all good. So that's me. Got any comments or any questions? Yeah, stick them down the bottom. If you haven't subscribed to Little John's, hit the button down there in the corner. Uh, but other than that, that's me, Little John, done for the day. So, till I see you again, good brew.